It's popping you too. What it is, what it is. Uh, yeah, we about to get straight up into it, man. We got a very controversial topic today, man. About to talk about uh, our fellow beautiful black women. You feel me? Love y'all, man. Across the world, man. Uh, so got a public service announcement for y'all, man. To raise up, you know, uh, some awareness, you know, so y'all could be. I was, you know, if y'all got some questions, you know, I ain't got really too much. Uh, you know, somebody to talk to about this, you feel me? Maybe I could uh, enlighten y'all. Maybe one of some of the circumstances that's transpiring in uh, today's society, you know, so that way, um, you know, y'all can kind of, you know, this is not propaganda. This is not no, um, you know, this is just, you know, something to, to be mindful of, you feel me? Um, you take what you take from it, you know, uh, it's to each his own, you know, that's where I'm leaving at. But to get into the, you know, because as black men, you know, we, we not, uh, you know, they knocking us off, man. We, we, we're not, you know, this this nation, you feel me, doesn't only allow, but like a select few, man, to really be in positions of power, or at least not even just positions of power, just to be able to live a regular, normal lifestyle, you feel me, uh, with all, how all the obstacles getting in the way, man. So, you know, uh, the circumstances between black men, uh, you know, it, it's just, it's messed up, you know, and I, I, that's why I'm here to bring awareness to y'all, you know, uh, the black females maybe that don't understand maybe what's actually going on. Maybe y'all can enlighten y'all and y'all could be able to, you know, take something from it that may be helpful or, you know, whatever y'all decide to take from it is whatever y'all decide to take from it. So let me get into it, man. Um, these females, man, I'm just only talking to a specific group, man. Y'all misled, man. Only by these, uh, you know, these societal, um, you know, tactics to brainwash you and to give you these unrealistic, unsustainable concepts that really, um, really doesn't carry any uh, type of real real life logic behind it what i mean by that is um you know the 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 type of men you know it's not to shit on nobody because we all got our flaws it's not for me to shit on the next man you feel me um but what i am here to address is you know stability uh stability you know uh a, a certain level of uh you know consistency you know as far as living a certain quality of life uh Black men, we 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 uh, we're not very disciplined. You feel me? So we don't have a lot of structure, a lot of order, a lot of objectivity. You know, sometimes we just pick and choose what we want to go at because it's whatever that favors our own biased personal agenda and not really being realistic and transparent towards the circumstances. You know, that's at hand. So, you know, when women are trying to select between these few uh, sets of men, a lot of a lot of these niggas know the circumstances. They know the numbers. You know, they know the numbers. They know the uh, the get down. So you're going to have a lot of these cats that's trying to fuck everything. <clears throat> Only due to the fact that, you know, it's not a lot of good niggas, you know, leading the way to set the bar high. So it's going to push these niggas to be more than what, you know, they're a lot, you know the, what they're being able to be, you know, just based off the circumstances. So what I'm, what I'm really trying to say is, is that, you know, when these women date these specific type of niggas and then the niggas sit up there and then turn around and fuck over the female or put her in a bad position, what they want to then go back and do is not really sit up there and really see what they did wrong or maybe what the person did wrong. They want to generalize shit and put everything in a contextual sense, you know, to raise awareness off because they had a bad impression of maybe what they thought a situation was or what they thought it w was going to be. You feel me? They didn't play out like that. So keeping that in mind, you got to understand that, you know, uh, you know, you can't sit up there and generalize and try to throw the good niggas, you feel me, the good niggas that's actually out here providing, building, you know, disciplining themselves and structuring themselves, you know, for this, for this world that we... You know, we already deal with so much, you feel me? We gotta deal with the the, the, the law system, you feel me? Uh, the law system far as, you know, not trying to get incarcerated, you know, due to the, you know, just the, the environment in which we're living in. Then we gotta, you know, 
try to make sure we graduate, you know, then we got to make sure we stay out of each other's way because, you know, the way that we're pretty much programmed due to the circumstances at hand, we don't want to see the next man, you know, do better than the next because then all that does is just shine up even worse light on our situation, which is already fucked up already to begin with, you know, so when nobody's winning, no, nobody want to see not one person win, you feel me, misery loves company, so yes, we got a lot of uh, changes and adjustments as black men, you know, to evolve ourselves, to be able to combat with the uh, circumstances that set before us, but as far as this video is about the black women, you feel me, um, I'll get to that, another subject, another day, but the black women cannot sit up there and you know, um, you know, y'all, y'all doing every and anything besides what y'all supposed to do, y'all. Sitting up there, dating the wrong niggas, y'all dating females. You feel me? And it, it's not like you know, I'm, I'm not trying to be harsh, but you got to see where these things is rooting from. You know, it's not just based off your own merit of your decision. It's it's the situations that set at hand to kind of put you in spaces to where the easy decisions or the decisions that should be easy or hard to make only due to the circumstances at hand. So, you got these females that don't even want a nigga, you feel me? Um, they're empowering themselves, which I'm not against anybody, you know, bettering themselves, but if females are taught a culture to be better than the niggas, then all you're doing is being overqualified and trying to shit on the next man for something that he, it's not that he has the inability to become, but it, it was because it was a lot more easier for you, and you're not taking that into account, and you're basically trying to, basically through your own bias, you know, or your own methods as a female, not knowing how naturally or instinctively the world functions, you're going to go at it maybe the wrong way, you feel me, you're going to, you know, think you're doing something to push somebody, you know, in one direction, but they're really going another, feel me so uh overall man black women y'all have to do a better uh job of analyzing and observing good quality niggas because we're not of the usual you feel me we're not of the the common eye so what y'all what y'all usually do y'all play it safe you know subconsciously or consciously like hey you know I'm going to deal with this non shit ass nigga at least. I know what I'm going to get as in compared to a level of uncertainty towards something that you've never seen before and you would feel like you've been put more at risk because a lot more is being considered, you know, besides your expectations. You don't know what you're going to get. So because your expectations is low, it's really like a paradox. You feel me? You don't want more. You're, you're complaining about something that you feel like you deserve. You feel me? Like you're saying something is bad, but yet your actions is inviting the same bad thing that you're pretty much complaining about. So you have to evolve and to know how to take chances, man. Take chances on men that you're not initially attracted to. You feel me? Or you're not initially, you know, sometimes what you what you need isn't what you like what you need isn't what you want you feel me maybe not initially but you know the maturity you know the adult orientated mentality is going to at least put your mind and at least to have it into consideration to see if it may play out because if you keep doing the same thing expecting different results you feel me you know what they call that that's insanity man you know it, I know y'all don't want to be walking around proclaiming y'all insane. So the main point is, is that y'all have to do a better job at holding us to an even higher standard, but in the same breath, holding y'all selves up to a higher standard also, because all you're doing is, is being a hypocrite. You feel me? You're wanting something. You're complaining about something that you don't, you're not even giving yourself the qualifications they deserve because if you look at the the small pool of good successful niggas it's not a lot so a lot of y'all females is gonna sit up there and try to downplay oh he too square oh he too nerd oh i need me a real nigga you know a real nigga that's gonna put me in my place 
and hold me down. You feel me? And what y'all not realizing is a lot of the behaviors, you feel me, and characteristics that y'all inviting come with other characteristics that sort of, you know, that you may not be interested with. You feel me? So if you got a nigga that sit up there and, you know, he reckless, you feel me? You don't give a motherfuck. You feel me? He don't think twice on nothing. You feel me? When it, It's a double-edged sword. You feel me? Like, which, what you have is what you have. You, you, you invite, you know, aggressive, you know, activity. You feel me? You're going to get aggressive activity. So, I mean, it's not to really, I don't want to get too deep in it on that. But the main thing is, is that, uh, you know, that y'all have to be more real with yourselves, man. Stop lying like, like people really believe in that shit. Because all the good niggas, man, we, you know, they say, you know, nice guys finish last or whatever the fuck. You know, what if it come down to a point to where we not racing? You feel me? We're not competing. You feel me? All these beautiful races or all these other w women able to identify us and, you know, recognize us in our true worth. So why are we going to then sit up there and subject ourselves to, to the people that sit up there and want to denigrate us? We do that shit to us too many times. You feel me? We shit on each other and wait until we're seen in a different light to be appreciated, man. So with that being said, man, uh, you know, I, as black people, as a community, we need to do better. You feel me? Black men, we need to push ourselves to be better. You know, um, and like I said, discipline, you know, be more uh, business orientated. But for the most part, man, the females, um, and I'm only talking to a specific group, man, because some females, they, they know how to analyze, you know, and realize you know, real gonna recognize real. They're gonna see through the facade, you feel me? They're gonna see through the, you know, the the masqueraded, you know, way that, you know, certain niggas could be, you feel me? Trying to set these females a dream. They can see past that because they they can, they can know what they want in the way they want it, and they can't be convinced otherwise, you feel me? And it's only a, it's only a group of females that have that level of, you know, entitlement, you feel me, and understanding of what's going on. Other than that, you got a lot of females let astray off based off of, you know, either the music, you feel me, the music, uh, you know, love and hip hop, all these different, you know, uh, people that, you know, these young people look up to and all they do is replicate, you know, that same behavior. So with that being said, man, um, you know, y'all have to really, the, the first thing y'all gonna have to do, which is gonna be hard, man, y'all gonna have to you know, disassociate yourself from the society in which y'all uh, partaking in to a certain extent, meaning that you gotta stay off of social media, man. Stop stop giving these people the attention that they don't deserve because all y'all doing is, is emboldening and pretty much enabling this uh, destructive behavior, you know, uh, that's gonna have long-term effects. You know, it's, it's good now, but it's not sustainable, and that's the part that most people don't care about, you feel me? They feel like, well, it's not fucking up now, you know, why should we worry about it now? You know, it's not about just now, it's about, you know, what may be there to come, you feel me? So, with that being said, man, um, those are just my thoughts on it. Might do a part two on this video, you know, uh, comment, like, subscribe, man, uh, got more videos on the way, more content, man, uh, just tell me what y'all think, man, and, uh, other than that, thanks for watching, I'll keep y'all updated, my